up, Cal Gang? All right, so we got this tow truck problem here. So basically, let me explain. The tow truck is pulling this car five kilometers, and we know that the force tension in the string is 1,350 newtons. And uh, there's two possibilities here. You can either pull the cable horizontally, or we can pull it at a 35 degree angle elevated. It can be one or the other, and we're gonna test how much, uh, how much work is done by both of those systems. So let's start with the horizontal system. We know that work is equal to force times distance, right? Times cosine of theta. Okay, so let's start with the, the horizontal one. So we know that the work is equal to 100, or 1,350 newtons times five kilometers, which is 500 meters, we wanna be in meters. And then cosine of theta, which is gonna be equal to zero because the, the motion is this way, right? We're measuring the work done in this direction, which means that the angle is just gonna be zero right here. So if you do this, this is going to be 6.75 times 10 to the six joules. That's how much force, or that's how much work it takes on the, uh, the cable on the first system where it's bottom. So let's, let's do the elevated one now. So this one is gonna be the same work, or the same force, 100, or 100, I don't know what I'm saying, times the distance, which is again 5,000, and then times the cosine of 35. Uh, that's because the angle relative to this is 35 degrees up, so it's going to be a smaller number now. So if you calculate this, you're going to get 5.53 times 10 to the 6 joules. So it actually takes less work to pull it at this elevated position, which is kind of interesting. I guess that's why tow trucks do it. Okay, so that's part A. Part B, what is part B asking for? Uh, how much work is done on the cable, or how much work does the cable do on the tow truck in both cases in part A? Okay, we can do this. Um, same thing, work is equal to force times distance, all right. So we know again, work is equal to the force, uh, so it's gonna still be 1,350 newtons, times the distance is still gonna be 5,000. And then this cosine is gonna be different, right? So what we're looking at is the, uh, the force done by the cable, or, or the work done by the cable, which is this way. But if we're looking at the force uh, from the cable on the truck, what you're gonna notice is it's gonna be pushing in this direction, right? The, the, the force is gonna be like away, and it's gonna be pushing, or it's gonna be pulling the truck back. So that cosine is gonna go from zero to 180 degrees. It gets flipped to the opposite direction. So the cosine of 180 is equal to negative one. So what you're gonna find is it's gonna be the same work, but negative. It's gonna be negative 6.75 times 10 to the six joules. That's how much work the, uh, you know, the, the cable does on the tow truck as opposed to the work done on the car. So if you do it again for the other one, 350, this is the elevated one, cosine. So earlier it was 35 degrees. Uh, once again, we know that if this is pulling at 35 degrees on the car, it's gonna be the opposite, the 180 degrees from there pulling on the tow truck. So it's gonna be 180 plus 35. And if you do this, uh, it's gonna be negative 5.53 times 10 to the six. So there you go. You can see that they cancel each other out. The work done by the cars, the work done on the car, it makes sense, right? So then what's the work of gravity? Okay, let's do that. Work of gravity is equal to force, distance, cosine, of theta. Uh, this is in part A, so the part where, uh, what is it asking for? How much work is done on the car in part A? Okay, basically, you can see here that if we're looking at it, the cosine, the gravity, the motion is going this way, right? motion's this way, so the, th the theta is gonna be 90 degrees of gravity. The gravity is pushing straight down, right? So if you go, you know, negative 90, because cosine's gonna be negative 90. Cosine of negative 90, or cosine of 90 is equal to zero. That means that the work of gravity is equal to zero. Uh, basically, if there's a force that's opposing, or if there's, a, yeah, if there's a force that's going perpendicular to the motion, it's gonna have uh, zero, zero work, because it's not actually moving at any distance, right? So you can say work of gravity is equal to zero. So that's how you do this problem, yeah. Uh, so yeah, good luck on your physics homework. If you want some more physics videos, stick around, because I got them. And yeah, good luck.